this is now our second Photoshop tips and tricks. And now let's proceed with tips and tricks number eight. It's about cove light effect. So let's go and see how we will do it. For example, I have this picture right now. You can see that there's a cove light effect on the facade. It's like there's a space between this entrance and there's a space for a linear floodlight or linear light to create a cove light effect. So how are we going to do that in Photoshop? It's really easy. Well, let's look for another one like the same effect. Say for example, this is cove light effect. So you can see it's like a light is behind this glass. Or maybe this is also a Photoshop. Or like for example, this one. So you can see there's a light behind those panels. And you can see that it's look like a cove lighting on the facade. So how are we going to do that in our Photoshop? So I selected a few buildings here. So I selected this one and the other buildings right here. So let's go and let's do it. So let's go now and start with our cove light facade tips and tricks using Photoshop. So for example, this one, right click, open with Photoshop. And then um, again, copy this one with a new file and then control L to make it darker all right okay let's stop it this way for now there you go and then uh, you need to cut this plane and add something behind it but before we do that go and create a new layer and let's label it as cove light and then we will create a line of light. Say again, let's do a cutting first. And make sure you are in the background copy. It's in the blue line now, big background copy. It should be in the blue. And then go to your um, lasso tool. And then select your facade where you want to hide your luminaire and create a cove light so for this one I am selecting this one now and make sure you selected the correct panels so it will hide all those glowing lights later okay be very careful with your hand uh, Photoshop is really so tiny and then right click and then copy copy now you have your new layer and then go to your cove light and pull it down and then go to your cove light and create your uh, pen tool again or your market tool make sure you are in the rectangular market tool and then create this rectangle okay because we don't have to create a line of a cove light here in this area so let's go and select the uh, pen tool instead okay so let's go and use the pen tool and then imagine that you're placing your luminaire here where the pen tool is pointing and then right click and then stroke the path say okay now you cannot see anything because it is behind this layer one so if you turn on turn off turn on turn off you can see it here okay let's turn it off so you can see it so now escape escape and you can have this um, uh, line of light uh, okay it's so thin but it's okay so once you have your line of light go to your outer glow and then make it big glow and the spread is you can have 22 here and then spread it more like that there you go okay enough for that keep the 75 and then press ok and then turn on the layer one again the one you cut and now you have your cove light effect ok 
okay if you, you're not satisfied with the cove light still you can go and press the outer glow again and you can spread it more but do not spread too much that it will create spill lights okay so i think this is fine so yeah that's it how you do your cove lighting okay let's do another example for example this one so right click open with photoshop and now we have this one let's zoom it more again let's go and copy this one and then make it a little darker Control l there you go okay i think this is fine slide it more here to the right side okay and now we will create a cove light in this amazing design of architecture here all right so what are we going to do is we will copy those line of uh, facade and then we will embed lights behind it so first go to your background tab make sure you're in the background or uh, okay it's fine you should be in the background copy and then just make sure it's turned off because you cannot see anything because I already make it dark and then go to your um, polygonal lasso tool and then select this area where we need to cut okay be very patient Alright, then here also, there you go, there you go, okay, so just be very patient to cut it, the more delicate you cut it and perfect, the better it will be the result, because precision is the key in Photoshop. Alright, do we need to put something here? Okay, okay, let's do it. Okay. We need to make this building a little more amazing in the night. So we will cut it. Cut, cut, cut. So I don't know now where to cut in this side. So we'll just follow this edge. Okay. And up to here maybe. Yep. Okay, and to go up to here, and then oops, if you made a mistake, just press backspace. Now, okay, there you go, like that, and then right click and then copy. Now you have your new layer here, and it's a dark layer, but it's okay. So let's do and create a cropping again here on this side because we will put our light see you can see if it's not properly cropped you can see those lines that it's not looking good so yeah but yeah okay this is fine and then uh, what we're going to do is we will create a glowing light here so better we need to cut it up to here so turn on your turn off it up for now make sure you're still in the layer one and then lasso there you go patience patience okay there you go up to here go and then just go around it because it's already cut and then close when you see the circle just press close and then right click and cut now you can see that you have layer one and then layer two and then your original layer here and then again let's cut this one one more press this lasso tool and then cut it like this 
patience 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 Out here and there and then just go and round about go and just click somewhere around it and then right click and cut now we have this layer and this layer so one more here because we need to cut it so go back to your layer one and select it like this keep using your lasso tool okay make sure you selected the correct area use your imagination if you can't identify which one is the correct area and go around it right click and then cut so now you have your one two three and four layers make sure that the layer one is here yes and then layer two is there and layer three is there and four is there okay and then turn this one now and then go and press your pen tool and create a line of light here let's go up to here only and then here okay let's make create a little curve here there you go a little curve here and if you want to continue up to here yeah you can do it so and then right click and then stroke path and click ok now you cannot see it oops sorry I should not control Z I should have created one layer just control Z the, the pattern is still there so press new layer at the bottom of your side here and now you have your new layer then again right click and stroke path then okay okay you cannot appreciate it much because it's hiding from yeah like this see it's hiding and then escape escape place place it here at the second at the uppermost layer so when you turn off you can see it there and then of course we will do the same so let's turn off so you can see and then go to outer glow and then make it glow let the spread maybe five or seven oh, not that much okay and then okay and then turn on again the layer that we turn off and then you can see the glow of light from behind so create a new layer again this new layer put it at the bo uh, bottom of the layer number three so we're placing it here and then go to your lasso tool again one two okay hold for a while make a curve three hold a while make a curve four hold a while make a curve then straight and then right click stroke path then okay now again you can see press escape escape and then uh, turn off this layer number three so you can see it and then layer six go and make it glow outer glow and then let us spread it more like this and like this oops not that much okay say okay now and then if you saw something like this go and press marquee and then delete now it's deleted and then again create a new layer here at the bottom of layer number four there's another one cove light we're, we're going to use here so let's go and press the pen tool again make sure you are in the layer number seven because otherwise you will destroy the uh, layer and it will connect to each other and oops i did that okay it's fine okay and then right click stroke pad okay so you can see now here it's wrong so I will just delete this one marquee and then delete okay let's do it again pen tool one more time here hold it make a curve hold it make a curve and then straight and then right click and stroke path and then okay mm -hmm. 
and let's go and make an outer glow and then let's spread it more here you can see now and then spread the spread it more and the softer okay there you go so if you want to add more on the other side you can do it and because we already created this um, um, walls here then you can hide those line of lights so that's it how you can do your um, cove light in the facade you can increase it more if you like like this okay so be very careful with this spill light at the top so you can do and uh, mark it or lasso it so you can delete those um, spill lights over there that's too much speed lights so just go and delete this one also delete this one also delete so if it's not deleting too much you need to down the market tool more and then delete layer 6 delete and layer 5 delete so that's it and on the floor you can also do it because there's so many speed lights here on the floor so let's go and create a lasso tool here the layer 5 delete layer 6 delete and layer 7 delete okay so that's how you create your cove lighting in the facade like this one okay so i hope you enjoy this one and see you again later if you want to learn more about photoshop facade lighting design go to www.enrocolightingdesign.com and enroll now in our facade lighting design techniques online training see you